Right, I think we're going to get started. So good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to another Wednesday webinar. How are we all? Um, I can see there's a few new attendees on here, which is great. So welcome. Um, firstly, I want to say thank you for joining us this afternoon. I hope you're all safe and well. Looking forward to learning about today's product. So I know a few of you already know me from previous webinars. Those who don't, my name's Catherine. I'm one of the connoisseurs here at Panache. Um, today we are excited to be speaking to you about Crystal Cruises, who are a great diverse product. Obviously they offer ocean, river and yacht style cruising. Today we're going to be talking all things river. Um, we're going to be joined today by Megan, who is a business development executive for the UK. Um, so during the presentation, we'll get an insight into life on board, find out about the itineraries on offer, current promotions and of course, as always, you'll be able to take advantage of our exclusive event offer, which can use towards your next booking. So before I hand you over to Megan, I wanted to introduce ourselves. So for those of you who don't know much about Panache Cruises, we specialize in ocean, um, river cruising, expedition and yacht style cruising. So although we are a fairly new company, we do come with a wealth of knowledge and experience. Um, our founder, James Cole, as some of you might know and recognize, he is a real cruise industry veteran, and the founder of some very successful cruise brands. So he wanted to launch Panache to be able to refocus on the customer experience. We've brought together a great team of cruise experts. You are in good hands with us. Um, we've all previously worked with Jane, myself, for just over 10 years. And our ethos here at Panache is that nothing is too much trouble. So we'll take care of all the finer details. Um, we don't have an admin team or call options. You just simply dial and get through to us. So you will deal with the one connoisseur throughout who will be on point of contact from beginning to end. So we will handle your booking, we'll send invoices and tickets, deal with any special requests that you may have, whether that's adding in dining reservations, shore excursions or flight seats, whatever it is that's really important to you. We'll give you that fantastic holiday experience. We'll work with you on a one-to-one -one basis to make sure we have everything covered so that you can enjoy your trip. Um, we also have the book with confidence messages. So we've got low deposits, reduced prices, relaxed payment terms. It's a great time to be booking to take advantage of all the offers currently out there. Um, and also, if anyone is worried about securing a holiday, at Panache, we operate an Atoll approved customer trust account, which gives you as a customer 100% financial protection. So your money is completely safe with us. So we're going to get started with the presentation. If you do have any questions throughout, please feel free to use the chat function at the bottom of the screen. Um, we'll cover any questions at the end. So I'll hand you over to Megan, who will take you through everything. So enjoy the presentation, everybody. Thank you. Thank you, Catherine. Yes, as, um, as Catherine said, um, Crystal Cruises, uh, we're a long established brand. We've been going for about 30 years with our ocean cruises. Um, but today we're talking all about the river cruises, which is um, a slightly new adventure for us. Uh, we launched into river cruises back in 2016. And that really came from there was um, a real kind of increase in demand for river cruising at that time it's it's been a really growing sector of the cruise industry for the last kind of 10 to 15 years but for guests that traveled in those ultra, ultra luxury six star ocean cruises there was nowhere really for them to go on the river and so that's where um crystal river cruises came into um it we sit right at the top end of the market um We've got a beautiful um, fleet of four lovely ships. These were all new built um, in kind of 2016, 2017. They're all sister ships, all identical. Um, so we've got Crystal Bark, Crystal Marla, Crystal Debussy and Crystal Ravel. And they are all absolutely stunning. And we'll go through um, this presentation and I'll talk you through all the different social spaces, all the different grades of accommodation, dining options, everything like that. We'll talk about that. Um, but one thing initially to kind of mention um, is our guest capacity. So we carry 106 passengers. Now, when we're talking about river cruising in Europe, um, all the ships, we all have to be exactly the same length, width. Um, we're all kind of restricted um, in able to navigate safely through the European rivers. Um, so it makes it really nice and easy to kind of compare um, what that looks like. And I think this is really important to touch on um, when we're talking about traveling in a post-COVID world where, um, you know, 
there's certain things that are almost a little bit unknown. I certainly would feel a lot more comfortable and confident traveling, knowing that there's a lot less passengers on board. There's a lot more space per passenger. Um, My room is bigger, more ventilated, all that sort of stuff. Um, With Crystal River Cruises, you can know that you're going to have the space on board for yourselves. So we carry, as I said, 106 passengers on our river cruises um, in comparison to kind of 150 upwards, really, when you're looking at those premium and mass market river cruise ships. And then you've got that staff to guest ratio as well there. Um, With Crystal, you really are looking at that kind of six star ultra luxury service. Um, The level of um, attention to detail that the crew give you, you can really see how that comes into play when you look at um, how those guest to staff ratios vary from from the ultra luxury with Crystal and then kind of down the levels. So um, the, the staff over in um, America have kind of been putting together these presentations and I'll feature these throughout um, these little comparisons throughout the presentation uh, so you can kind of see for yourself kind of what the difference is with Crystal. So we're going to touch now on uh, some of the hallmarks of Crystal River Cruises and and what makes it so special Um, and so firstly I've just wanted to highlight some of the um, amenities and services that are included. So we are an all-inclusive product um, so you've got your select wines, champagnes, spirits, specialty coffees and cocktails, all of that is included for you. In every grade of accommodation, we have butler service 24 hours a day. Um, we've got your uh, all important Wi-Fi, uh, selected shore excursions, and I'm going to come on to kind of the different varieties of shore excursions that are on offer. Obviously, all your dining, which really is kind of Michelin inspired, fantastic. Um, A really key one there, your gratuity, so all your tips for crew are all included and all the onboard staff, but also uniquely um, for all the uh, tour guides and coach drivers and and things like that. Anyone that you come into contact on your Crystal uh, River Cruise, you don't need to worry about tipping or anything like that. That's all sorted for you. Um, So I think that's important to mention. So we've all had lunch, so hopefully this... um, I always hate doing this before lunch because everyone just gets hungry, but I'm glad we can talk about this since it's after lunch <laughs> and hopefully we're all, we're all satisfied. Um, the food on board is absolutely fantastic. Um, it is all Michelin inspired cuisine, um, farm to table, locally sourced fresh ingredients. Crystal, um, for anyone that's been on the ocean product, know that they do the food very, very well. When you come across to the, uh, the river, and we're talking about just 106 passengers, it's elevated to another standard. Um, It really is fantastic. I was on board myself in 2018 um, and was just absolutely blown away by the the level of uh, the food on board. It really was fantastic. Um, So everything is prepared um, kind of fresh to order. And again, we've got a little bit of a comparison um, for you here. So um, to kind of uh, put it into context, into perspective for you really. So we do have um, open dining. So with our um, evening, uh, you can come anytime between about six and nine o'clock is generally the open dining times and you can dine with whoever you want. There's plenty of tables for two. If you've met people on shore excursions, you can go and sit with them. Um, If you wanted a table for four, six, eight, we can accommodate however you want to sit. If you've decided the next night you want to go and sit with another group of people, we can do that. Um, So that is all, you know, dine with who you want at what time you want. If you didn't want to go to one of our onboard restaurants um, and perhaps you wanted just a quieter night in, we do have 24 hour in sweet dining. Perhaps you wake up in the middle of the night and you really fancy some cookies or um, a sandwich, uh, you know, whatever it is that you're fancying, um, we can accommodate that. The kitchen is in use 24 hours a day. Everything on board is made fresh from scratch. Um, So the kitchen is always open 24 hours a day. Um, I did a galley tour when I was on board and they were telling us about how the bakery, there is always someone in the bakery making either fresh breads and pastries for breakfast service and then they're making the bread rolls for lunch and then they're making doughs and different pastries for the dinner service. There's always somebody in there and the smell of bread is just fantastic. Um, one of the key differences, though, is around that food preparation. Um, with some of the premium and premium mass market cruise lines, 
uh, what we have is that kind of banquet style preparation. So they will prepare all the dishes, they will be there ready, and when they take your order, the crew just come down, pick up the pre-plated plates and bring those up for you. And don't get me wrong, some of that food is really, really lovely. With Crystal, it's completely different. Um, although we carry less passengers than everyone else, we actually have one of the largest galleys um, on board. And that means um, we've got plenty of space for lots and lots of chefs there um, and we prepare everything fresh to order. Um, so that means that you can really tailor make things if there's certain parts of a dish that you're not quite sure about, no problem. You let us know and we can adapt that and make it just right for your tastes. So the lovely thing about our restaurants is there's a real synergy between the ocean products. So anyone that's been on the ocean um, can um, know what to expect from various um, onboard um, restaurants and social spaces. So Waterside is the main of our uh, the name of our main restaurant, um, and it's got these gorgeous floor to ceiling windows all along the side. So um, as you're sailing along in the evening, enjoying your dinner, you can kind of catch glimpses of these beautiful little riverside villages and towns. It's really, really wonderful. In here we have um, for breakfast and lunch, it is a buffet style service. Now I hate using the buffet style because it just doesn't do it justice. Um, you can see in this picture just right at the back, that kind of grey door at the back. That's where the buffet style area is. Um, now at breakfast time there'll be lots of fresh fruits, um, cereals, all that kind of stuff but there'll also be a chef there preparing eggs for you, ex exactly how you want them if you want scrambled eggs, boiled eggs, an omelette with various fillings, there'll be someone there to prepare that freshly for you. Um, at lunchtime that might be instead a pasta station where they're creating a pasta of the day or um, They'll have a, um, a joint of meat that they're carving and you can kind of say I'd like a rarer bit or a, a more well done bit or I like the, the dark meat of the chicken and, and they'll carve up exactly what you're looking for there. So although it is a buffet, it is really elevated and there are lots of staff around to kind of assist you with that um, and make sure that, that you're all okay. And then at dinner, as we mentioned, it's that a la carte sit down um, evening meal experience. Um, and then we've got the bistro. So again, this is a, a, a fan favourite on the ocean. Uh, this is our really wonderful coffee kind of shop place. Um, there's always a little buffet up here as well with various kind of fruits and lovely tasty treats of kind of muffins and cakes and it's a really lovely place to come up and grab a coffee. Um, when you're doing a kind of Christmas markets cruise for example it's great to come up here and warm up with a, a hot chocolate. Um, in the summer one of my favourites in here is the, the Venetian ice cafe that they do and it's a, a scoop of ice cream with a shot of espresso on top and it's just really lovely and creamy and I'd really recommend that. Um, for breakfast and lunch you can come up here you've got the buffet but they also do do a small menu so you can order things like omelettes um, pancakes for breakfast you can order that up here um, at lunchtime they also have like a soup of the day a sandwich of the day uh, maybe a small pasta dish or something like that so if you want something a little bit more casual for your breakfast or lunch you can come up here um, and that's a, a, another option for you and then at dinner time um, you can reserve to come and eat up here and it's a tapas style evening so really nice they bring out um, lots and lots of small plates um, I'd recommend if there's a group of you it's a really nice experience to do but it works just as well as a couple um, and it's it's really nice as an alternative from the main dining room and then our third dining option on board is the vintage room um, so this again uh, a, a fan favorite on the uh, ocean product this is an optional dining venue so this is the only one where there would be an additional charge if this is something you're interested in if you're really interested in your food um, particularly with wine pairings this is a really lovely concept in here so we do a lunch and a dinner um, event uh, where they'll do either a five course or an eight course meal and this is paired with um, locally sourced wines. The sommelier and the head chef will get together and make sure that they're perfectly um, harmonised and, and providing you with the best matches. Um, and it's really, really lovely experience. So there is a, a cover charge for this. Um, it does need to be pre-booked, but 
I certainly would highly recommend it. It's um, if you're celebrating a big birthday, maybe an anniversary, maybe you've got a family group of you traveling together. Um, I would really, really recommend uh, doing this experience. It's, it's yeah, definitely a, m a money can't buy just a fantastic evening. Um, it's, it's um, I'll, I'll come back to the videos maybe at the end and we can see if we can get some volume. But um, that was uh, one of our executive chefs talking about the process of how they'll go out to the local markets and how the inspiration for some of their dishes come together. Um, what um, I'll move on to now is then some of our social spaces. So we do have some lovely um, bars, lounges, public areas, um, which are great um, spaces to relax and enjoy. So we have the wonderful Palm Court, and this really is the kind of hub of the, the ship. Um, during the day, it's a lovely place to come. Um, lots of the kind of lectures, enrichment programmes will be held here, whether that's our sommelier doing a, a wine tasting from some of the local vineyards that we've passed on our cruise. Um, it could be a hands-on culinary um, uh, lecture or something. Uh, we'll get local historians and experts on board that will come and join us for the afternoon and, and give us a, um, a really nice um, enrichment lesson. So this in the daytime is a real hub um, and then the evening this is our kind of main hub for um, the evening entertainment and, and a pre-dinner cocktail or a post-dinner cocktail. Um, it's just such a beautiful venue with the skylights along the, um, the top and again for my, throughout most of the ship really it's these floor to ceiling uh, windows throughout that just bring in so much light and and you really get to feel um, the destination as you're sailing along up on the top deck we have our beautiful vista deck um lots and lots of space for you to in the summer kind of lie out and enjoy the the sunshine perhaps in the winter it'll be more of a, a wrapped up affair under the the covers there with um maybe a hot chocolate, um, watching the, the beautiful scenery go by. Uh, but one of the lovely features up here is our Vista pop-up bar. So this actually pops up and down. So if we're going under um, low bridges or anything like that, the bar will just pop down uh, briefly to grant us the safe passage through and then we'll pop back up and ready to, to look after you again. Um, on the back side of this, we do actually have a TV as well. So when there's big events like um, Wimbledon, for example, when that's on, a lot of our guests can come up here and enjoy um, watch Wimbledon with some pims and um, while enjoying enjoying the scenery as well. So it's a really lovely um, area of the the ship. We also have our beautiful spa on board. Um, obviously, there's um, kind of one member of staff really that looks after um, the spa. It's um, certainly a reduced. Um, uh, spa treatment menu in comparison to what they can offer on on some of these larger ocean ships but um, some really fantastic treatments um, on offer there that can be pre-booked or booked whilst you're on board and then also our little fitness centre so although we're a small little river ship we fit a lot in there <laughs> um, so, so there's some bikes there'll be a fitness instructor on board that might run um, pilates sessions or yoga perhaps up on the top deck as well so there's lots um, for those that have all overindulged in the food and perhaps want to work off a few of those extra calories uh, they can do that as well. Um, if you're like me though there's absolutely no pressure. <laughs> I go in and just enjoy my holiday. Um, we have a lovely pool at the back of the ship as well and this has a, a, a feature where you can swim against the tide so you can turn on um, the, the kind of resistance um, and swim against the tide so for those that want to use it for kind of purely exercise um, properties they can do that um, lots of people do just go there to relax though and there's a beautiful fire in there and um, a fridge with waters and you can grab tea and coffee and just sit and relax you get a really wonderful view out of the back back of the ship there in this uh, venue as well so I'm going to go on now and talk about some of the accommodation um, so we are the only fleet in Europe where all of our accommodation is suite accommodation with king size beds and every grade of accommodation, um, whether you're in our entry level or top suite, everyone gets a butler service. Um, every room comes with an espresso coffee machine so you can um, make yourself a nice coffee in the morning and we have, um, they're all kitted out with these iPads so you can read the morning news. 
uh, maybe book some of the spa treatments or shore excursions. Um, you can have a look at the evening's menu uh, for the restaurants and choose where you'd like to eat. So there's all sorts of things you can do on those iPads, which is really great. Um, as well as a lovely little mini fridge as well that will be totally stocked to your preference as well. So if there's something in there that you know you're not going to drink, you can let your butler know and they'll be sure to kind of remove it and, and fill it with the things that you do prefer. So this is our entry level. Um, and one thing to kind of note here is that um, it's on the second um, floor. So a lot of other cruise lines, the entry level will be kind of on that waterline, what I like to call, um, with love, the duck view cabins. <laughs> so they tend to have the, um, the uh, window in your room is right at the top of the wall. And you're right on that water line on a lot of other cruise lines. Whereas for us, our entry level, they're right. Um, we've got a beautiful big window. Uh, the top half of that will drop down to create a panoramic balcony window. And we're up at 188 square foot. So for our lead in grade of accommodation, that's still larger than any other cruise lines lead in grade of accommodation. Um, what we would say is when you go up to the S3s um, and our S4 and 5 suites, they're great configuration because the bed then faces the window, which I think is a really lovely feature. So you can wake up, pull back the curtains um, and you've got maybe a new port, a new destination. Maybe you're going through a lock or, you know, you never know what you're going to open your curtains to on a river cruise. And that's that's really one of the joys of it. Uh, you've all got your lovely walk-in wardrobes, your dual vanity sinks in there and a beautiful rain head shower as well. So this is the S3 um, and then you've got the S1 and the S2. They're just slightly bigger there at 253 square foot, but the same configuration there as the S3. Then as we move up the grades, we've got our crystal penthouse. Uh, so this is a really lovely um, suite with a separate dining living area. So if you wanted to dine in the suite, this would be a really lovely to, uh, area to do that. Uh, if you wanted to host maybe a little cocktail reception for some of your new friends, you could do that in your separate living area. Um, and if you're traveling perhaps with maybe some more friends or family, you can actually add on another uh, room and make it a two bedroom suite. And that's our crystal suite up at 759 square foot. Um, and they share that um, little living space in the middle with the door into both bedrooms there. So again, back to that comparison, we're hundred percent suites. 100% rooms with king size beds, they all have that drop down balcony uh, window and they're all above the waterline. So um, some real benefits of sailing with crystal cruises there. We'll talk a little bit about the destinations. So we're mainly, um, we're on the Rhine and the Danube are the main rivers that we travel on. We do a couple of sailings on the Moselle, which is arguably one of the be most beautiful, beautiful rivers. Um, it's really filled with those kind of fairy book style castles along it um so they are always really really popular sailings um one of my colleagues was on last a couple of years ago and she said it was just absolutely stunning um in between the rhine and the danube you've got the mine as well there which again is a really lovely area um, and towards the beginning of the year we do um do some stuff um around those the netherlands and the canals up there as well so that's kind of where we travel as I mentioned at the beginning, a selection of your shore excursions will be included. We do like to keep those nice and small, so we tend to keep group sizes to about 15 guests. Um, and there's, there's all sorts of choice as to what you could get up to. Um, in comparison to, again, some of the other cruise lines, for a seven day cruise along the Danube, we include complimentary 28 to 36 tours, which you can see is, kind of twice as many as you would get with some of the other cruise lines. Um, we also have our own um, fleet of coaches that follow uh, the, the ships along the river. So um, you know you're gonna have the same bus driver, the same coach every time you go off on a tour. So some of the things you could get up to, we have tours that surround food and gastronomy, which are always my favourite, um, going on kind of local um, cuisine, perhaps getting hands on. Um, they're always 
very popular. We have um, our exhilarating adventures. Um, we have a selection of bikes that we do keep on board and then we have access to e-bikes in various ports as well. Um, these are always great. Um, one of my colleagues was off on one of these tours um, and said they were on the e-bike and couldn't understand why everyone else was going up the hill and didn't seem to have a problem and they got to the top and were really struggling and it turned out they forgot to turn the electric on his bike on. So <laughs> always check and make sure that if you're doing an e-bike tour that they've turned your electric assistance on, but they're really great experience to go and um, enjoy the destination. Um, if you're in Amsterdam, a really great way to get around. You've got our personal connections tour. So here you can meet locals, um, perhaps in their own homes, um, in their own businesses, um, and you can really get a feel of what the local um, culture is really. Um, throughout these areas in, in uh, Europe, there's a lot of history and there's a lot of culture, um, as well as it being absolutely beautiful, but there's some really wonderful museums to visit. Um, there's lots of art and yeah lots of really beautiful things to see so we've got our cultural discoveries program as well um, so there's lots of um, short excursions that will take you to um, historic sites as well there and then if none of those tick your boxes we can also work with you to design something that is going to be right for you um, and make sure that you uh, are enjoying your holiday to the best on um, Almost every cruise, we also have what we call a crystal signature event. Now, this is where we take you to um, a really iconic landmark. So, for example, in Vienna, we will take you to the Belvedere Palace. You get exclusive access and there will be um, a, an exclusive uh, musical recital. There will be perhaps dancing, champagne will be flowing. It's really that kind of MasterCard style evening where we will absolutely look after you um, and you will have just a really wonderful um night to remember so we have those there are crystal signature events and they're on almost every single cruise um, so they're definitely one to look out for so i think we're pretty much done um going to mention the exclusive event offer and Catherine can talk about this a little bit more at the end but for joining us today uh, we will be offering you up to 250 pounds discount uh, per person uh, for your future river cruise bookings so if you are interested in booking a river cruise please do talk to the guys at panache um, and they can help and make sure we get the right itinerary the right sailing alongside this lovely discount and oh. before we end i just wanted to kind of give an update on where we're at with um um, the COVID situation, what sailing is going to look like. So for 2021, I just want to give you guys the confidence that if you were to book a cruise for 2021, we have kind of reduced those deposits, we've reduced those final payments and updated that cancellation policy as well to make it much, much more flexible for you. Alongside that, we've got our Crystal Clean Plus protocol. Uh, we're updating this continually with all the latest guidelines to make sure that it's going to be as safe as possible uh, when we do return to sailing. I've got a quick video and then I will hand back to Catherine. Hopefully the sound works on this one. <laughs>
there we go. Hopefully that's given you um, a great introduction to the brand. Hopefully it's um, sparked some inspiration. Um, if there are any questions, we've got a little bit of time, but um, for now I'll hand back to Catherine. Thank you. That was really good. I've been lucky enough before to travel with Crystal. I think they're absolutely amazing. Um, haven't been looking enough to do the Crystal River yet, but I'm really hoping to because it just looks stunning. The quality is fantastic, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so yeah, thank you. So um, obviously, um, if anyone's keen to explore some options sailing with Crystal, do let us know. And just to obviously reconfirm with the event um, incentive, so you will receive a discount of of two hundred fifty pound per guest towards your Crystal River cruise, which it will need to be taken um, within the next 14 days. If you didn't want to do river and you wanted to maybe explore the ocean side or the yacht side of cruising, you could use it towards um, one of their other products. It doesn't need to be a river cruise. So just bear that in mind. If you see anything, do let us know. Um, if anyone else has any questions, feel free to ask, or if not, um, let me know after the presentation. Um, I can always discuss in detail with you more afterwards. So I'll pop the webinar onto an email for everyone who's joined, everybody who hasn't been able to join um, currently, I'll pop it over to you. Um, obviously reiterate the offers on there and things. Um, so let me know if you're keen to maybe start planning a trip going forward, do come back to me. Um, obviously, uh, if I'm not available, one of my team members will be more than happy to help. So thank you very much for joining us. Um, obviously we love having you guys come and watch the webinars um, we love the feedback from you as well if there's anything you really want to watch going forward as well do let us know if you want us to focus on anything in particular do um, yeah do come back to us and just advise um, but thanks Megan we appreciate it thanks for coming thank to speak to me today it's been great so thank you um, so everyone um, have a nice day I will be in touch via email um, I'll speak to you all soon. Thank you very much. Bye.